Good morning and welcome to BOTB HQ in Parsons Green, South West London. My name is Christian Williams, the presenter here at BOTB. And we're here this morning to judge the latest dream car competition, which ran from the 5th to the 11th of October 2020. And just before I hand over to Charlotte, our lawyer this morning, once again, massive congratulations to last week's winner of the dream car competition, Mark Blanchett, winning a brand new BMW 340 Touring. Absolutely stunning car and £20,000. I'd now like to hand over to Charlotte Houston from Onside Law, who will oversee the proceedings this morning. My name's Charlotte Houston from Onside Law, and I'll be overseeing the judging this morning. Firstly, I can confirm that the competition data has already been sent to the auditing company, ASEX. I would now like today's judges to introduce themselves and using the secure link provided, mark on the screen where they think the centre of the ball should be. Then, at the end, the group will come to a final panel decision. I'm Nigel Hicks. I've been a Supply League match official for the best part of 30 years and I'm an experienced football administrator. Good morning, my name's Peter Giorgio. I am a football and futsal referee. Good morning, my name's Hugh Gilroy. I'm a referee, mentor, tutor and observer. Hi, I'm Jenna Scalacci, former professional footballer and I'm now currently coaching girls between the ages of 8 and 15. My name's Liam Walsh. Um, I am a retired referee after 23 years service. I'm currently a referee observer and head coach for the Middlesex Referees Academy. Hi, my name is Eric Mendonca. I've been involved in football for over 30 years, firstly as a player and then as a referee. Good morning, my name's Matt Cannon. I'm a senior county referee and footballer and I last played on Saturday. Good morning, my name is Leo Donnellan. I'm an ex-professional football player, having been with Chelsea, Fulham and Leighton Orient. Good morning, my name's Andy Braithwaite. I'm a football referee, mentor, and licensed observer. Hi, my name is Kieran Fitzgibbon. I've played football for more than 30 years and I'm now a senior county referee. Judges, please now come to a final panel decision. For your reference, the larger white cross is a calculated average of the individual 10 selections. Okay, good morning, everybody. Morning. 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 Good morning. Got quite a sort of a, a selection of choices with the, um, of the average in the middle of everybody. <clears throat> So the spread isn't that wide, um, and if I put the uh, the magnifier over the the calculated average, um, it's within. I think it encompasses two of our choices, and we have well, no, three, four of our choices, and we have the the, the other six uh, just outside the magnifier, which represents the ball. Um, so on that, I would say, you know, if if we were to remove say, for example, Liam's at the bottom, it comes into the middle of um, the other nine. And then again, I can take Jenna's out, but it doesn't move it enough to, to bring it into a sort of a concise um, <clears throat> ball for me. Um, and I think personally, if we, if we were to take Liam's out, you could then take Leo's out and Andy's out and Jenna's out, and obviously the ball doesn't get it really any smaller because we're, we're actually quite far spread. Um, has anybody got any, I mean, I think we're all 
I would believe of opinion that the guy in red and white is 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 on looking. He's looking up to the ball. He's leaning back, and the guy in blue looks quite relaxed. Uh, we've got four eyes on the ball, and I think we just cross reference their eyes. Uh, is there anything that anyone would think that's you know really pertinent to this about an outlier at all? I'll, I'll go, Matt. I don't. I don't think there's there's a uh, an outlier. I think we're we're a cluster albeit in a yeah. wider group but there's the kind of it's just ranging on whether how far it's kind of the red and white players looking up or and how close it is to the blue player i thought he might have played it just because there was kind of flecks of grass around the red and white player's head and coming away from him yeah. uh, on the photo but i i don't think anyone sits as an outlier personally yeah i mean i, I think the point is you know you could take one out from the right, one out from the left, and that would stay where it was. And the same with with all of, with everybody. Mm. Um, and again, the same with Leo and 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 Jenna's with the height. Uh, sorry, uh, uh, Leo and um, Liam's with the height. I mean, I think they're all justifiable decisions. Um, so, I mean, I think in this situation and with the cluster, as you as you put it quite rightly, Hugh is completely around. Um, I think I'd like to uh, take a panel vote to have um, this average with everybody in and to judge at this average. So, uh, Nigel, um, your thoughts on that? Yes or yeah, no? No, I agree completely. Um, I did see feel look, looking at the players' eyes, they're not focused to a pinpoint. You know, their, their eyes are, each of the two pairs, their eyes are looking slightly apart. So it's difficult to, to narrow it down to a single beam. Yeah. Um, so yeah, I think that's reflected in the spread of the cluster we've got here. But I think that's ideal. Yeah. Yeah, and I think the the, the the players of this competition also need to understand that the players aren't always in the same plane. So the player might be slightly in the in in the right, the player the blue, and they're looking up into a, into a space in front of them, um, which I think is quite important. It's obviously with, as referees, footballers, we 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 understand that completely. Uh, so Peter, yes or no on the um, to judge at average with everybody? Uh, average. Yep. Okay, uh, Hugh? Yeah, happy. Yeah, uh, Jenna? Yeah, happy with the average. Great, thank you. Uh, Liam? Yes, happy with that, Matt. Yep, great. Uh, Ari? Yeah, happy, happy with the average as well. Yeah, and Leo? Yeah, happy with the average. Yep, that's fine. I mean, yeah. Um, Andy? I agree with that, Matt. Yeah, and then lastly, Kieran? Yes, I agree with great. everybody said, yeah. So we have a, uh, a full panel decision. Um, that we are going to judge um, at the average with all 10 selections taken uh, together in this cluster, as you quite rightly pointed out. Um, and we'd like to ju uh, judge there. Thank you very much, Matt. Uh, if you are all happy, please can you click submit. Thank you, judges. The coordinates selected are 1725 and 722. These coordinates will now be passed to the auditing company, ASET, to calculate the winner of the competition, and they will then inform BOTB. That concludes the judging process. Thank you.